Hello, I'm Kathy Savoy, Extension Educator with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. Spring has finally arrived here in Maine and it's time to get ready for the highly anticipated fiddlehead season. The ostrich fern fiddlehead is a highly anticipated spring delicacy. Today's video will discuss three ways to help keep you safe when consuming fiddleheads. The three topics we will discuss today include food safety, cleaning and cooking fiddleheads, freezing techniques to optimize quality of your frozen fiddleheads, and lastly, pickling fiddleheads so that you can enjoy them year round. If you are planning a foraging adventure, please refer to the University of Maine Cooperative Extension's very popular video on how to identify and harvest fiddleheads. You definitely want to make sure you're picking the ostrich fern fiddlehead. If you're sourcing from a farm stand or farmer's market, make sure you look for fiddleheads that are tightly coiled and vibrant green to ensure that you're getting them at their peak of freshness. Foodborne illnesses have resulted from eating undercooked or raw fiddleheads. So please make sure to follow the latest recommendations for length of time to properly cook your fiddleheads to reduce your risk from getting sick. Although we do not know the origins of the illnesses, we do know that you can reduce your risk through proper handling, proper storage, proper cleaning, as well as thorough cooking. Keep fiddleheads refrigerated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit until you're ready to use them. Methods such as sauteing, stir frying, or microwaving are no longer recommended because of their short heat application. The newest recommendations include boiling in salted water for 15 minutes or steaming for 10 to 12 minutes. Given the very short season for main fiddleheads, some people like to preserve them so that they can enjoy them year round. Freezing is one of the most common methods used. It is inexpensive, it is convenient, and it is simple. For high quality frozen foods, make sure to use containers that are both moisture and vapor resistant. These are typically sold as freezer grade containers instead of simply storage grade containers. So let's review the steps to freezing fiddleheads. With clean hands and a clean work area, you are ready to start the process. Step one is to clean fiddleheads by spraying with water, rinsing and submerging in water repeatedly until the brown paper coverings have been removed. Step two, blanching. This is when you scald vegetables in boiling water or steam for a specific amount of time. Blanching is a must for almost all vegetables to be frozen. Blanching stops enzyme actions, which can cause loss of flavor, color, and texture. Blanching helps remove surface dirt and organisms. It also brightens the color of your vegetables and helps to stop the loss of those important vitamins. Fiddleheads require two minutes of blanching. Use a blancher pot which has a blanching basket and cover or fit a wire basket into a large pot with a lid. Work in small batches and use one gallon of water per pound of prepared vegetables. Lower clean fiddleheads into vigorously boiling water. Once the water returns to a boil, start counting the blanching time. Step three, as soon as the blanching is complete, quickly cool fiddleheads to stop the cooking process. Plunge fiddleheads into an ice bath for the same amount of time they were blanched for, two minutes. Step four, to improve the quality, Remove water by spinning in a salad spinner, placing on paper towels or clean towels. Excess water creates clumps that are hard to break up to use and can cause a loss of quality. Step five, pack into freezer grade material, remove as much air as possible, and leave a half an inch of headspace for expansion that occurs during freezing. Label, date, and freeze in the freezer. Make sure it is set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Fiddleheads and other frozen vegetables should be used within eight months for best quality. Your frozen fiddleheads can be used in your favorite recipes, including soups, stews, quiche, or even a casserole. Or my favorite is as a side dish to a meal served in a bowl with salt, pepper, butter, 
and plenty of vinegar for flavor. Enjoy! To use frozen fiddleheads, you can thaw them in the refrigerator or submerge them in cool water. You need to make sure and cook them for the recommended times that were mentioned previously. And just to remind you, that is 15 minutes of boiling or 10 to 12 minutes of steaming. You can also use them without thawing first, but just remember, they must be cooked for 15 minutes in boiling water or 10 to 12 minutes of steam. Next, let's discuss pickling as a safe method for preserving fiddleheads. Either commercial apple cider vinegar or white vinegar should be used and make sure to check the label to read that it has at least 5% acidity. As a point of reference, about three pounds of fiddleheads will yield six pints of pickled fiddleheads. If you are new to home canning or simply need a refresher, I encourage you to check out the National Center for Home Food Preservation website for canning tips and the most current recommendations on home canning to keep you safe. So now I'll start to make the brine, which is four cups of the distilled white vinegar. And I double checked to make sure we are at 5% acidity. I'm simply combining the vinegar with the measured quarter cup of salt. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. To each clean pint-sized canning jar, you're gonna to wanna to add a teaspoon of dill seed, a clove of garlic, and as much crushed red pepper as you can stand. No more than a teaspoon. So pack your cleaned fiddleheads tightly into your canning jars that have the seasonings in them. The next step is to get the boiled brine over the packed jars of pickled fiddleheads. And what we're looking for here is that we want to have a half an inch of headspace in the jars. I'm going to use my headspace tool to remove any air bubbles that might be in the jar. And then I'm going to get those fiddleheads to be under the brine. And I'm going to use this side to check that we are at that half an inch of headspace, which it looks like we are. All the air bubbles are removed. Now I'm going to wipe the rim. and then apply the two-piece dome lid to what is fingertip tight, which means I cannot tighten it anymore with just my fingertips. And repeat for the second jar. The next step is to get our packed jars of pickled fiddleheads into the boiling water bath for processing. You wanna make sure you have a rack in your boiling water bath, and you also wanna make sure that you have at least one inch of boiling water over the tops of the jars. You wait until the pot comes back to a full rolling boil to start your timer. When it is at a full rolling boil, we will process these for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes of processing time is over, stop the heat, take off the lid, and now wait for another five minutes before removing your jars. After the five minutes of cooling is over, you can remove your jars and put them on a cooling rack to allow them to cool. And you can definitely see how much the fiddleheads do shrink while cooking in the pickling process. 
It's important for you to know that there are no research-based tested recipes for pressure canning fiddleheads. If you wish to preserve fiddleheads, your only options are either freezing or pickling. These are both great ways for you to be able to enjoy fiddleheads when they are no longer in season. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you learned a lot about how to eat and preserve fiddleheads.